I'll just be sitting here like this. I'd look good behind something like this, huh? And we all. <laughs> all right, Carson and I are up here at the ranch again this weekend. Um, we're gonna check out uh, property this morning. Uh, we looked at it a little bit last night, but we're just waiting for our buddy Bo to get here. Um, got permission to bow hunt a small piece last weekend. So we're gonna go put a feeder up there with a couple blocks and a camera just to see uh, how many deer are hitting it. We saw a lot more sign there last night than we were expecting to, so that's definitely a plus. Um, then we're gonna go from there to, got permission on another piece last weekend. It's a lot bigger, um, just to shed hunt. So once Bo gets here, we're gonna head up and do all that stuff, hopefully find some big antlers on that, and then come back down to the cabin area and see what else we can figure out to do. just got permission on last weekend uh, we shed hunted it yesterday didn't find any sheds found a ton of deer sign but we just found a good spot to place the feeder up top up here we got what's going to be a bean field this year and then most of their bedding is going to be behind us or to the west so we're going to go ahead and get a feeder set up here and set a trail camera up and see what's around <laughs> Loaded up. So we just got into here, super windy. It's not too bad down here, but up top it is really windy. But you guys can kind of see how thick this is. Full film thicket, so me and Athena right now are working our way and weaving our way through here. But this property is insanely big and I don't know how much we're gonna get covered for the rest of the day, but hopefully we find a few sheds. There's some big ones in the area, so we'll see. Oh. Uh -oh. I didn't even film that. I've seen goblins up on the hill. The newly. Found another deadhead. I'd say that's this past year's. Only found two deadheads so far, but Finding way more elk sign than deer sign. Hopefully we'll stumble onto one of those sheds, that'd be sweet. Rough country. How tall are you, Bo? Six one. What do you think that is? It's definitely an elk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this property's pretty insane because to the north we got Muley country and it opens up quite a bit a lot of elk they said they saw a lot of elk in here last year so maybe we'll find an elk shed or a muley hopefully we find something elk rubs up here busted off up to their hands found the first shed finally we're starting to get into the better part now but I don't know how I spotted this I have confidence I have not been walking by any because I spotted this probably 20 yards up the hill flipped upside down here he is nice. I have no 
idea how I spotted that. This is the burr and the rock on. Carson and I are in the bullpen today. Uh, we're doing some clover seeding. It's the third week of March. So we're just gonna try to get a little bit of seed, frost seeded in here, even though it's getting warmer already. Um, got a rain coming in the next couple days. So we're hoping that'll just pound some of the seed into the topsoil. Um, we had brassicas planted in strips all the way from the east to the west end on the bullpen last year. And then uh, the rest of it was beans. And we're gonna switch what was brassicas to clover this year. Like a nice green food source when everything else dies. Um, clover, clover will be able to do that and withstand browse pressure from the deer. So we're going to get all that seeded that we can today and then um, start working on the rest of the plots and all that stuff in the near future.